there are multiple factors that account for vaccine effectiveness. One is the vaccine itself. I think we know that um, vaccine effectiveness varies a little bit between vaccines, though the majority or all of their WHO EUL uh, vaccines actually have very high rates of protection against severe disease and death, at least till the Delta variant, that was true. The second is biological factors like age and underlying illnesses. And we know in COVID with all the variants that the older you are, the more the underlying illnesses and comorbidities, the more vulnerable you are to get severe disease. And the third factor is the time since vaccination and the waning of immunity. And we know that there's some amount of waning, but again, there's more waning for infection against infections. And that's why we're seeing a lot of breakthrough infections now, uh, especially with Omicron, because Omicron does have the capacity to overcome pre-existing um, immunity needs higher levels of antibodies for protection. Now the evidence on Omicron is just emerging and I think it would be very, it's still premature to conclude definitively. But I think what we can say is that all of the lab studies are pointing towards a reduction in utilization capacity. And, and also what we see clinically is that people who've been vaccinated, people who've had prior infections, are still getting breakthrough infections with Omicron. And that's why the numbers that we're seeing around the world today are extremely high because these infections are occurring in both the vaccinated and unvaccinated people. However, it appears that vaccines are proving to be still protective because even though the numbers are going up exponentially in many countries, hospitalizations, and even within hospitalization, hospitalized people, the need for ventilation, the need for critical care, that doesn't seem to be going up proportionately. This is a good sign. And it's probably indicating, telling us that previous immunity, either due to vaccines or in some cases due to natural infection by the virus due to a previous variant is provided some protection against severe disease. And this is what we had expected because immunity, immune responses are much more than just neutralizing antibodies. So neutralizing antibodies capture one part of it. And so I think to some extent we are reassured that people seem to have that pre-existing immunity are protected from getting severely ill. And therefore there's a, there's a there's a mismatch or a, you know, there's the infection and hospitalization uh, uh, are the, the link between the two has been disrupted. However, having said all of this, I think we still cannot predict what this virus is going to do in, in people who have uh, no prior immunity, either due to vaccine or natural infection. There are a large uh, number of countries with still a lot of people who are not uh, vaccinated. So we still need to wait and see and hope that this doesn't cause severe disease in them. 